Okay, uh, let me get rid of the content here. Content here. Okay, uh, I have a bunch of controls, but of course they are not aligned. They doesn't look, look professional, so I just want to make them look a little bit better. I will choose my text uh, boxes and I will right click and I will say same size as in what? As in same width, okay? And right now I can use some of the alignments that's available here. What do I want to do? Align right in content. Okay, looks a little bit better. And right now I want also to change the sizes of my um, buttons. I want to have the same width also. Now let's take a look what happens actually. Remember that the, the button initially took the size of its content. So this is the preferred size. But right now that I said I want them to have the same size let's take a look what happens here so if I enter something like um, let's say the letter A and then B okay it didn't change it didn't get smaller but let's see what happens when I enter um, content that is a little bit bigger than the size so I would say insert record for example okay since it couldn't fit into that button, what happened is that it expanded. But the other buttons, they're attached to this button in terms of size. They do have the same width. So basically what happened is that um, uh, all the other buttons got expanded into um, the same size. Okay, so basically this is it for this lesson. Uh, we learned about uh, uh, some of the design concepts, some of the things that we can do visually in NetBeans using uh, the Java swing controls. We learned a little bit about the containers. We learned that um, inside a panel, the main container, I can put a lot of controls. We learned about the uh, swing menus. We saw that a menu is also a container that usually uh, uh, have has um, uh, many uh, menu items and actually it can have also another menu inside it so this will be a menu inside a menu or a sub menu and we also saw uh, how to add a toolbar and we learn a little bit about the alignment and the resizing of controls um, just before we finish I will just make few changes here in the ID itself so I will go to the view and go to the toolbar and take a look at some of the options available and I will say okay I want to see small toolbar icons so basically I just change my toolbar here maybe this will give me just a little bit bigger of a working area okay and what I will do, I will use a, a couple of the tools. I will go ahead and build my main project. And I will go ahead and run it. This is my final product. Again, no programming, so nothing happens really when I click any of the buttons. However, I do have a nice looking desktop application with a common GUI components I have my toolbar I have my menu bar I have uh, sorry this is my title bar my menu bar and my toolbar and few uh, uh, form controls okay thank you and goodbye